car's been sitting for about a week since I made the last video. Because I am actually moving right now. All right, guys, so we're back in Conchilla. We're gonna go ahead and recharge the intake on the S4. All right, so here's what we're gonna be using to go ahead and recharge the intake. It's a K&N recharger kit. You can pick this up at pretty much any, you know, auto store, um, AutoZone, Advanced Auto Parts. I believe it was about 20 bucks. I usually just buy a kit every year and just keep it in the trunk, um, you know, and try. I try my best to recharge the intake every month, if not every two months, so. We're gonna go ahead and get started. We're gonna pull off the intake. See, it's pretty easy steps, you guys. One, two, three, four. If you mess this up, you might be brain dead. So let's go ahead and get it started. All right, guys, as you can see, the intake is very dirty. So this is gonna be the before. You can even see it on the gloves. You see that? It's pretty bad. I'll be honest with you, I haven't, I haven't recharged it in about two months or almost three months now. So let's go ahead and get this cleaned up. So the first step, um, after removing the intake from the actual car you're gonna go ahead and remove this clamp right here because you don't want to get this messed up um too much water it may start to rust um then after that we're gonna take the K&N power clean um air filter cleaner and just go ahead and just start spraying it on so with this process i personally i like to repeat this process of uh spraying it on and rinsing it off a few times so I'm gonna do it maybe honestly it's pretty dirty so I'm gonna do about four times see how clean we can get it and go ahead you know make sure you get a good amount on there I even sprained the inside too as well because this this part this is where you get most of the, the build up all right so we got some warm water right now I'm gonna go ahead and run it through if you look closely, hopefully you can see this. Uh, you can see how dirty the water is. Look at that. This is why you should do this at least once a month. You guys, the kit itself is only about 20 bucks, so there's no reason why you should let it get this bad. Um, you know, my, myself, I shouldn't have allowed to let it get this bad. I usually do it every month for sure. Um, the car was sitting for a while too, so. And it does get worse in winter. All right, so while the intake is drying, we're gonna go ahead and clean the stock wheels. I get a lot of brake dust from the um, the factory brake setup. It's pretty disgusting, but I get used to it. It's not that bad until I upgrade the brakes. As you see, oh yeah, I'm running 255, 35 um, on all four. No staggered setups or anything like that. Um, I don't even think that works for all-wheel drive cars anyway, so you can clearly see the once you just spray this stuff on there, it just comes right off. And this is um, all, so, so far, all we're using is um, products from AutoZone or Advanced Auto Parts. Pretty simple stuff, basic stuff. I wouldn't say it's the best on the you know, for wheel cleaners, but it does the job and it's cheap. Difference, you guys. is now dry and looks much better than before it's pretty clean now we're going to go ahead and add the oil filter guys yeah, so with the k &N kit for the intake system it actually comes with the oil filter um lubricant as well so we're going to want to get that put on there this one is actually red so before you go ahead and purchase your kit if you have a blue filter make sure you check that out because you do not want to be applying a red oil to a blue filter it would probably look crazy just so you guys know that all right, so the filter is now dry. We're gonna go ahead and add the air filter oil from K&N and we'll see how it looks. Already you can see that it's bringing in the color um, of the original red filter. That's because it's, the oil itself is actually red. So make sure that if you have a blue filter that you purchase the correct color, um, 
I'm not sure if the color has anything to do with the functionality of the, or how the intake itself will function afterwards, but make sure you try and match the colors up so you don't look crazy. 